everybody welcome back to my channel today i am coming to you guys with another plan with me this week i am planning from the 11th of june to the 17th of june and i decided to do a rainbow spread for this week which is a pretty drastic change compared to last week because last week i did a black and white spread and this week i wanted a little bit of color and i decided to go all out with a rainbow and also I started university this week so I thought it would be nice to have something bright and cheerful to look at during the first week of university. I'm here, I was just sorting through the stickers that I wanted to use for this week and the large sheet you saw in the back of the pile was the stickers that I've made for this week. Anyways, I am moving on to my sidebar and putting down my usual hydration um, box, daily habits sticker and my weekly goals. The colour dots I am using for this week is from a sampler from Happy Cloud Ink. I was actually having a little bit of difficulty putting these dots down straight since they are quite a bit smaller than the Lily Pink prints one that I normally use. So you'll see me pulling them up and putting them back down and then in the end I decided to grab a new sampler since I order from her quite a bit and I just peeled up the dots that I had already on the page and I just replaced them with the new ones trying as best as I could to get them straight. Here I am taking a quotes box from Basil and Mint. This I got in one of her misfit bags. I'm not too sure if she sells the specific one. And put that to cover up the thankful thought section. And then I like to mark which week I am in the school trimester. And normally I use a cloud. That's what I used for last trimester. And this um, trimester I decided to be a little bit more creative with the way I wrote it so I decided to layer the cloud on top of the flag that's already on the page and wrote week in the cloud and then the since it was first week of school I just wrote week one and then I just filled out my sidebar and then I moved on to the rest of the week so first thing I am doing is just putting down my to-do boxes at the bottom. I decided to line them up against the washi tape since I like having it further down on the page as it gives me a little bit more room to plan up at the top and also it's aesthetically pleasing as well to me and it's just become a little bit of a habit now since I have been doing it for the past few spreads. Then after I have put all of those down, I am topping them off with my to-do headers from Happy Cloud Ink. And then moving on to the rest of the headers. As usual, this is going to be a plan as I go style of video. So you'll be seeing me complete the day as I go and be seeing the final completed spread at the end. As I have already mentioned, I started university this week and so I decided to go sort of back to basics of when I started planning for my first trimester of school and I dedicated the top box of each day to school. Since it was first week, there was quite a bit of stuff that I needed to catch up on and readings that needed to be done and all of that so I decided that it would be nice to have a box dedicated for each day because most likely I would have something to do for each day and I did but yeah anyways now I am marking down my classes I peeled up the pencil sticker because I realized that I wrote down a class schedule for last trimester and so I needed to peel that up peel it up since it was wrong and then I decided to just write it down on the sheet 
for the class that I had for each day and then put them down afterwards. So now I am going in with some stationary sticker stickers from that planner girl and marking down that I had some readings that I needed to do on various days. When I have school what I like to do is sit down and then plan out my school section first and then move on to the rest of the week. Also for this week I wanted to be a little bit more experimental with my hand lettering so I try to use it a lot more often in this spread which is why um, you can see me spending quite a bit of time well it's sped up, sped up here but in real life I spent quite a bit of time trying to make sure that it was okay but as usual the coil is always in the way on Wednesday and Wednesday's handwriting is not as nice. I layered a laptop sticker from Lily Pink Prints and a flag sticker from Blackbird Print Co over the top and I am marking that I had my week 2 readings to do on Sunday. And the little sheep laptop stickers you see are from me, they're from my store, but they haven't been listed yet. I'm still testing them out and everything, so yeah. And the dots I am using are from Lily Pink Prints, and I'm just using those as checklists for this week. So now that I am done with my school section, I am moving on and planning day by day. First thing I am doing is marking that I had coffee with a pop mix design coffee sticker. I put down a edit and upload sticker from made by Lysia but I didn't like the way it looked on the page so I peeled up the two icons, whited out the words and replaced it with a half box and just placed those stickers back down. Here I decided to move down from Monday and just quickly fill out my to-do list. I took a little banner sticker and a little sheep icon again and marked that I needed to cook dinner that day. And then underneath I am taking a Food Network sticker as usual and just marking that I watched Food Network that night. Now moving on to Tuesday, the coffee icon is a sticker that I've made ages ago as well um, and just marking that I had coffee again.
then here I decided that I didn't like the way I read coffee so I whited it out and covered it up covered it up with a banner sticker and just placed the icon back and wrote it down again I still didn't like the way I wrote it but I just decided to leave it since I really couldn't be fussed pulling it back up and replacing it with another sticker. The YouTube play button icon is one made by Alicia and I'm marking that my plan with me went live at 10 a.m. Then I placed a half box down at the bottom of the day with a pencil icon from that planning girl and marked that I had a drawing session. And then above that I just wrote quite large relax since I wanted to really wind down after spending the morning at school. Now moving on to um, Wednesday I put down a teacup icon for pop mix design and marked that I, that I had green tea. Then I placed another half box down with a laptop icon from Lily Pink Prints and then later on I put down a silhouette sticker from Made by Alicia and marked that I had a design day and a print and cut session. Underneath that I took a, another banner sticker with a pen um, sticker from Pop Mix Designs as well and I just wrote relax and draw and then underneath that I'm sure you can guess what I put down but I put down another Food Network sticker that matched the colour of the day. Now moving on to the next half of the week, I put down a weekend banner from Lime and Mortar. It's her rainbow banner and it was the last one that I had left. And also, fun fact, that was one of the first stickers that I ordered. And I started planning actually around this time last year as well. Um, Back to Thursday, I put down a teacup sticker again to mark that I had green tea and then a half box with a um, um, envelope icon from my store and a pencil icon from that planning girl and I just used that to mark that I had a few Etsy tasks that I needed to do. And then what actually ended up happening on Thursday night was that I got sick on Thursday night. It was something that I ate, I ate something that I wasn't supposed to, my body just rejected it. And you'll be able to read, I don't want to say it, but um, I ended up sick on Thursday night or early morning. And Friday was basically spent sleeping as you will see I will write down in a minute which was unfortunate since I had quite a bit of work I still needed to do but I was bedridden for at least a day and a half which was sad but yeah um, I decided to work from the bottom up on Friday since Friday night I watched Food Network to make myself feel a little bit better and I took one of the blank headers that I had and used that to mark that I slept for a long period of time which I will mark in the half box and then in the header header the banner sticker I am marking that I just spent some time with my family
anyways now moving on to Saturday I am marking that I slept in that's a sticker from my store and then underneath that since I was feeling a lot better on Saturday and I couldn't really afford another day wasted I needed to catch up on a lot of stuff and so I decided to mark that down in the bottom half of the day and also since the um, weekend banner took up quite a bit of space I didn't have a lot of room so I needed to make the weekend whatever I wrote down in my today sorry my to do section really simple and minimal so yeah Here I am marking that I filmed, well finished fil filming this plan with me and then I edited the plan with me with the little sheep. Anyways, as you just saw, I moved all of the tasks on Friday to the next day. But yeah, that is the end of this plan with me. I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me and thank you all so much for your support it really means a lot to me that you guys have subscribed and liked my videos and watch it and everything and also thank you to those who watch my videos and also have bought stickers from my Etsy store if you ever see this thank you so much I really appreciate all of your support that you guys have given me and I don't know I can I will keep saying thank you. I'm really, really grateful to all of you guys. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.